Hello, my name is John Knight and I run a lovely fashion shop called Vintage 2 Versace. Now my passion obviously is fashion and I love to talk about the history of fashion. And so I'm going to present to you the history of fashion through the 20th century. This is episode seven, the 1970s, When we left the swing in 60s, we entered a new generation altogether, perhaps I should say flower power. The flower power and psychedelic decade of the 1970s. Here was imagination, here was new music, here were new drugs to give young people uh, rather more of an experience than they had in the 60s. And new designers were springing up. In the UK, which tended to lead fashion in the 60s and 70s, two great designers came about. The first was a young man called John Bates, who started his own design uh, company boutique and changed his name to Jean Varon because it sounded a little bit more French and a bit more sophisticated. So we're gonna look at a Jean Varon dress, but first I want to look at perhaps the most iconic designer of the 1970s, Ozzie Clark. Ozzie Clark and his wife Celia Birtwell were responsible for some of the most imaginative designs and some of the longest and most enduring fabric designs. Celia designed fabrics which are still being made today and Ozzie Clark's dresses are now investment pieces. He designed a new fabric called Moss Crepe and his thoughts were very much more into medieval and renaissance and the pre-Raphaelite period and he illustrated these with these dresses. Have a look at this dress here modeled by Elsa by Ozzie Clark and immediately you can see that this is something rather special. It covers from neck to toe completely. The material is moss crepe which is a fairly heavy material, interesting to touch, it's got a lot of texture, but more than anything it drapes well. Now the dress has a lovely button detail at the bib, but the thing that everybody notices is of course these wonderful bell sleeves. Look at the amount of material in these incredible bell sleeves. So this is a return to the Renaissance style of perhaps the 15th and 16th century, created in the 1970s by Ozzy Clark. Let's have a little look at the back. It has a tie here, just a nip in the waist. Other than that, it is the most simple dress to wear, uh, whether it be for an evening occasion or during the day, an unmistakable Ozzy Clark classic dress. That's lovely, Elsa. Turn back round. Is it comfortable to wear? I bet it is. That's lovely. That's our Aussie Clark dress. Thank you very much. Now let's look at that other designer I mentioned, Jean Varon. Not as well known as Aussie Clark, but I think you'll agree with me, his designs were amazingly imaginative. This is a trouser suit. Whoa, look at the width of those. The material is silk, blue and black, asymmetric pattern, and quite a daring dress. If we turn round, you can see that there's nothing at the back apart from a bra strap, but the, the pants themselves from the waist down are really very voluminous. But instead of coming perhaps to uh, tight ankles like harem pants, these show the flair of the 1970s. You can swish around in this one. Turn back around again. Wear a fabulous hat, as we've got here, and everybody will notice this. These are extremely rare uh, items. I love this. I think the imagination of Jean Varon is superb in this example. And I can't think of anything to dance better to. Certainly the, um, the psychedelic and flower power dances of the 70s were beautifully complemented by this outfit. So, thank you, Laura. Wonderful.
Thank you for listening and looking at this episode of The History of Fashion. And this is just a reminder to let you know that we can bring this event with my models and our dresses and myself to tell the story at an event or an occasion, or if you're an organization and you organize shows, we'd be delighted to come and be your guest and do the history of fashion for you.